Hey there, I'm DJ and welcome to Rise Through Concrete. Of course, we're going to have another great episode for you today. And as always, we're going to fail forward and fill in the blanks because of course, that is where the adventure begins. So without further ado, let's jump into this. Today's question, we are going to focus on being self-aware. We're going to just kind of swim in that space a little bit. So today's question, if people came with warning labels, what would yours say? If people came with warning labels, what would yours say? What a moment for some self-awareness. Now, <laughs> let's get the conversation started on all platforms where you see the logo for Build, Rise, and Thrive, or wherever you see the hashtag of rising or rise through concrete. Of course, you're going to have my response there as well. So warning label for me, since you guys are listening, of course, mine is warning. She's curious. Watch out for questions. If there's one thing you guys I have learned is don't be afraid to ask that question. I know For so long, I have been afraid to ask the question. I have been afraid to not say anything or I'll say it in a small circle. I'm not waiting. I'm not stopping. And I don't plan on stopping now. I want to know. I'm very curious. And at times I know I can be quite courageous and rebellious, but I am very, very curious. Now, what I will share is that I am awkward (laughs) And I know that we all get awkward sometimes and sometimes we get caught in our own heads, but don't feel like you need to walk away with having that regret of not asking that question. Now, a couple things though, I will tell you, um, have a little bit of, you know, emotional awareness when dealing in this space, you know, be mindful of the moment, be mindful of your space. Don't just blurt it out if the space doesn't call for it if you don't think like that moment is the best moment to bring up the question then please don't but other than that I fully encourage you guys to ask that question you know if that's your warning label right I would love to know what your warning labels are use the hashtag of course best self hashtag rise through concrete uh If not, you can always, of course, and I'd love to see it, you guys, hashtag build, rise, thrive. Let me know, what are your warning labels? I'm going to have that down there as well. I need to know. I need to see. I want to know what your warning labels are. This is just going to be the absolute bee's ankles for me. I need to be aware of what your warning label would say. Mine is warning. She's curious. Watch out for questions. Um, yeah, no, I'm <laughs> I'm socially awkward. I've gotten to the point now where I will say what I am awkward about. Um, and it kind of it kind of happened by accident. I kind of got to the point where I recognized a couple years ago I was having a conversation with a friend of mine, and um, our <laughs> our situations are almost similar. You know, husband, kids, family, things like that. And you know, we were both having one of those mom moments where the conversation just kind of got awkward at work. And uh, I said what we were both feeling in the moment. And like a couple seconds went past and we just both bursted out laughing. And it was so odd because we needed that tension to go away. And interestingly enough it was like wow no one ever does that because everybody wants to be like as cordial as possible as as professional as possible and you know usually you're praised or we're praised for having that level of like professionalism or like you being put together yeah no I I try so hard to do it right I try really really hard to make sure like the, the I's are dotted, the T's are crossed. I'm going to tell you, I'm, I don't know what I don't know, and I need your help. I'm going to tell you what I don't know when I don't know what this process is. I need you to walk me through this step by step. You know, I may know some, or I may have done it in a different field or a different space, or there may be different standards. Please tell me what to do. 
please tell me what to do. And if it eats up too much time, then it eats up too much time. But once we're done, two things are going to be done. I'm going to do it 3000%. And you're going to walk away feeling confident that it's going to be done right. And it's going to be done right the first time. That's that's all I got to say, right? If, if, if I have to do it, it's going to get done right. Uh, and, and you'll understand why. I, I don't know where like we've gotten to where it's like we have <laughs> first of all this question just it made me laugh when I first read it like the warning label thing right because <laughs> at first when I looked at it it was having a warning label right like what's wrong with you but I didn't want to look at it like what's wrong because there may not be anything wrong it could be like hey what's your quirk what's what's that thing that that makes you you like what if somebody had to pick you out of a crowd what would it be this is mine right so i want to hear what you all are right what is your warning label what makes you you don't look at it if you can't look at it negatively look at it in your most unique way look at look mm, let me get this word out look at it in the most unique way possible there we go i knew i was gonna get it y'all look at it in the most unique way possible so i would love to know what your warning label is and what it will say i'm not gonna wrap this one up because i really don't think this episode is gonna be that long you guys but because i really want to continue the conversation on social media so answer the question let's have the combo over there and of course you know like episode drops today so thursday we're gonna have a live conversation so i hope to see and hear you guys there uh, we'll post the time tomorrow. So, I mean, let me know. Just let me know. Let me know what you think. And of course, wherever you get your podcast, of course, you can hear the podcast. Um, and if you are on Anchor, of course, you guys can leave comments or Spotify. Uh, you can leave comments for the show and we could most definitely have them heard on the next episode or on this episode uh, if we play it again. So don't be afraid to do that either. I would love, love, love to hear you guys' response to this question. We'll do a follow-up in another episode. Um, With that though, I'm going to pause because we do want to wrap this up. I'm really encouraged to hear that. So yeah, let's pause here and let's pause for a break and I'll come back and wrap this up. Hey there. So as we begin wrapping up this episode, I just want to reiterate the question that we are focused on today is, uh, well, the question that we're focused on today. And that is, if people came with warning labels, what would yours say? Right? So mine, of course, was, hey, she's curious. Watch out for questions. Um, that's mine. Just a bit of reflection and a little, uh, a few words of wisdom here as we wrap this episode up is no matter what you consider your warning label to be think about where that warning label is coming from what place are you pulling that label from right is it coming from a place of love is it coming from a place of resentment is it coming from a place of like hurt think about you know, who is making you feel the way you're feeling in the moment in which you're coming up with that warning label, because that also matters. I know you know, I did a little bit of joking and laughing around today, but it's no different than someone giving you a nickname that maybe you don't like or providing you with something that maybe you heard behind your back that maybe you wished you would have heard to your face so that you had the opportunity to defend yourself. I want you to take the power back that belongs to you as you move forward, right? Your warning label doesn't need to be negative. Your warning label speaks to you. You have the power to say what it does and does not do. My label speaks to my curiosity. Your label can speak to your inquisitiveness. It could speak to your ability to bring people together. It could speak to your ability to be able to to divide and conquer, to love, to embrace, 
to motivate, to lead a group of people to better. Whatever your warning label is, think about what place it's coming from. As always, you guys, this is DJ, and you've sat with me today as we rise through concrete. I love you guys, and as always, remember to rise. I'm sorry, remember to build strong, rise with intention, and thrive with courage and confidence. And next week, we're talking about the strong people in our lives. Don't forget, come and join me next week. Talk to y'all later.